Hey there, today I wanted to do a real quick tutorial here on how to make a bootable, bootable USB drive from a Windows CD or also if you have another USB stick that's already bootable and you want to make a duplicate of that, this will also work for that. Um, there's other tutorials out there but really what I want to highlight in this is that you don't have to download another separate program to create a copy of a bootable disk or of a CD. Um, now computers have no hard drive or no uh, optical drives in them and it's becoming really important to have bootable flash drives with in Windows installers on them and so um, just real quickly I'm gonna show you how to do this and we don't have to use any special program that we have to download what we can do is use the command prompt and a built-in tool called disk part so what you want to do is you want to first open up a command prompt and then go ahead and type in disk part and I'm in Windows 8.1 so this brings up another window um, on Windows 7 it won't bring up another window I don't think but you should get this disk part right here so telling you that you're going to be in disk, disk part mode and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and say list disk and this will go ahead and show you the current disks that are attached to the computer. And then um, we've got there my solid state drive 232 and then disk 1 is the jump drive that I've got plugged into the computer. And so what we want to do is want to go ahead and say select disk 1 or whatever disk is corresponding to what you have plugged in. And then next what we want to do is we want to go ahead and say clean. After disk 1 is selected we want to say clean and after that's done we want to go ahead and create a primary partition and then what we want to do is oh sorry you want to do create partition primary and then after that's done we want to go ahead and select it so we want to say select partition one and then it'll go ahead and say that we've selected that and once that's done we want to go ahead and mark it as active <clears throat> and this is real quick so um, really the only thing that takes the longest in this type of a tutorial is um, formatting which is what I'm about to do now um, for these bootable USB drives we need them to be in NTFS so I want to go ahead and say format FS for file system equals NTFS and it's going to go ahead and format it. This right here is what takes the most amount of time. Um, it probably takes at least 15-20 minutes depending on how fast your computer is. But I'll go ahead and pause this and come back to it when it's done. But So everything up until this point is real fast, easy. Anybody can do this as long as you just follow along and you don't need to download a special program to do this. So um, one thing that I've used this for and I don't know if some other programs can do this but it was when I had another bootable flash drive with a custom installer on it and I needed to duplicate that into other USB sticks with that custom installer and it's not as simple as just clicking and dragging the files over um, you have to go through this step process here to be able to make the computer have that Windows installer on it and be able to be bootable off of that um, so anyway, I'm going to come back to this when it's done, and we'll finish this up. Alright, once we've got the successfully formatted the volume message, we can proceed on. We're just about done. Um, next, we just need to go ahead and say assign. And what that will do is it'll give it a, uh, as you can see up here, removable disk F. Um, it gave it a drive letter and after we've got that assigned all we need to do is just say exit because we're done with the disk part portion which will give us back to the command prompt and now what we need to do is we've got the CD in the drive right here drive D or you can also have the other USB stick in and it, treat it just like the same with the CD so same process and we need to go ahead and change directory so go ahead and do uh, 
that's the D drive, so just do D colon. And now we're looking at the D drive. And then we want to go ahead and do CD to change the directory. And we want to go ahead and go into the boot folder that's on the CD. And this should work with all Windows installations. And now that we're in the boot folder, we're going to go ahead and do a command that is called bootsect dot exe slash nt60 and then the next portion here is the drive that we want to go ahead and load this bootsec dot exe onto and if we go back and look here I want to go ahead and put that on F so I'll go ahead and say F so basically it says go ahead and run this bootsect and put that bootloader information on F. Oh, I might have to uh, run the command line as a administrator. There we go. Yep, if you get the error, you're going to want to go ahead and run it, the uh, command line, command prompt as an administrator. Okay, we got boot code was successfully updated on the target volume. And after that, we're done. Um, the next step and the very last step is to go ahead and copy all the files inside of D or the other removable disk, uh, the other flash drive that you're making a duplicate of. Again, same process. So we're just going to take all of this, copy it, and throw it onto here. And that's all you have to do. So this was a, this will work for any version of Windows, and this is just as easy, if not any easier, than. Uh, trying to actually download a separate program to make the uh, USBs bootable from CDs or other already bootable USBs. So uh, if you liked, go ahead and give me any comments, likes, or subscribes. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I'll try to get back with you. And if you have any other ideas or want to see a video made, let me know and I'll see if I can get that made. Thanks.